so what are the three main points you're standing for? Ah, uh, three main points. Mm -hmm. uh, integrity, enthusiasm, persistence. And what's your position on growth in the region? Uh, growth is um, something that happens to us. Uh, the, the, um, there's been quite a bit of uh, discussion about controlling growth. Um, I'm yet to find an effective tool to do that. Um, I got here in 89. We've uh, quadrupled in size since then. I think when we first got here, there were, um, I got here, there was about 3,000 people, just under 3,000 people. There was no shoe shop. There was, uh, it was a different place. Uh, it was a fantastic place. Uh, it still is a fantastic place. And um, I employed a young Scottish girl and I said, oh, we're going to double in size in the next five years. And she said, oh, that's a shame. I like it just the way it is. And it's like, yeah, I got here, 89. I liked it just the way it was then. So it's, it's a slice of time. Um, we're growing fast, absolutely. Um, but if you actually look at the indicators, it's, you can sort of see where we're going. Um, and it's always been a bit like that. It's, people come here for a reason. It's a sensational part of the world. I, um, when I first got here, one of the second jobs I had was driving a tractor on the paddocks at the back and um, harvesting and I thought I'd died and gone to heaven you know, it's just such a nice spot and a nice thing to do um, and I think that that the biggest challenge is for us in 20 years time is that another Scottish girl can turn up and go we're going to double in size and she goes oh, I like it just the way it is um, so it's about maintaining the vibe the, the, the upper Clutha the Wanaka vibe that is such a cool thing that attracted us all here and how do you think our airport should be expanded if at all um i think it's it's a, a strange thing it's a, the um the i think it's the, is it the mckinsey institute coined the phrase where talent wants to live um, and i think wanaka is a place where talent wants to live uh wanaka the upper Clutha. Um, and part one of the requirements of, of talent or employing talent and by talent I mean the people that are going to employ our kids or inspire our kids or make them uh, live in the district inspire us um, is connectivity now that can be online connectivity internet connectivity and also physical connectivity um, obviously it's a double-edged sword um, that's the bit that we can exercise a modicum of control over. Um, the, uh, one of the reasons that people come here, uh, and lots of people leave here, they, they, they fly to other places. So that connectivity is something I think that locals value. Um, and the, the organic growth of our town is such that we've gone from having no shoe shop to having uh, a hospice, a medical centre, um, a good sports facility, good sports centre, a second supermarket, um, and these are things that all that everyone values. Um, and I think when we had flights in 2012, it was something we valued. And and, and I think that the um, the connectivity when the, the airport does again grow uh, to have regional connectivity is something that uh, I think we will value. And should tourism continue to be our main industry? No, no, it's, it, I'm involved in tourism and, and we're wedded to tourism. Um, but I, um, tourism, and I'm not sure what, that num what the number is, but there, there needs to be a, a, a discussion, a healthy discussion about um, what we want from tourism as a nation and how we can evolve to protect what, what New Zealand's got. Um, and one of the discussions about having what, where talent wants to live is evolving an economy that doesn't, it isn't hardwired into tourism. Um, I think it was uh, Bill English that said New Zealand is a cork on the international waters, but we're actually getting quite good at it. Um, so it's about doing the innovation, doing what we do, uh, do well and developing that 
Um, tourism obviously still has a place. It's our biggest economic driver by a country mile. Last year we had four million tourists that came to New Zealand. And if we really wanted to, I think Boeing, uh, 50 to 60% of all their aircraft production for the next 10 years is going into Asia and China. So if you really want to turn on that tourism, it, it could flood New Zealand. So we have to be very careful about how, and everyone's been involved in the high value tourism discussion, um, but it's about how you do that. And tell us a little bit about yourself and what makes you emotional about the community? What makes me emotional? Uh, the beauty of this place, um, kids and providing a home for kids, providing a place for talent wants to live, um, looking after um, our ageing population and uh, our wonderful assets which are our wonderful waterways and lakes. Uh, I'm a member of the Apakutha Lakes Trust and uh, investing in that future is something I'd be keen on doing, passionate about doing. Great.